Good morning. Welcome to the Cathedral of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Cathedral of Bishop Louis Kinnaman III, the fourth Bishop of Biloxi. Our celebrant for this Mass is Bishop Louis Kinnaman. Happy, happy Father's Day weekend to all of our fathers. May God the Father Almighty bless and keep all the fathers in our parish and beyond. With gratitude for your love, support, and protection of your families, May God's generous blessing come upon you. Next Saturday, June 25th at 10.30 a.m., Bishop Kinnaman and all of the Biloxi Diocese will celebrate the installation of six men into the, into the position of permanent diaconate. Among these six men is Nativity BVM Cathedral's own Keith Gibson, who will be installed. This celebration is open to all of the Diocese of Biloxi to observe and celebrate. Come and join in supporting these individuals in this very special Mass of dedication, devotion, and service. That is next Saturday, June 25th at 10.30 here at the Cathedral. Visitors, we would like to welcome you and thank you for joining us for this National Eucharistic Revival Mass. It is our pleasure to have you worship with us today. If you have not already done so, please silence or turn off your cell phones. Thank you. Good morning. The mass setting that we will be using this morning is the Mass of Spirit and Grace. It can be found starting at number 923 in your Breaking Bread Missal. Today's opening hymn at the Lamb's High Feast can be found in your Breaking Bread Missal at number 166. Please join us.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your well, it's truly a joyous occasion to uh, come together in the name of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, for it is his gift of himself that is really, really, in a special way, called us into God's love to participate in God's love in a very special way. I uh, want to welcome, of course, all of our uh, school uh, parents and children that are here, and our priests and deacons, especially our seminarians that are serving the Mass, and uh, also uh, Mayor Fofo and his wife Sabrina, thank you, uh, and uh, Alderman Impey and his family, thank you for being here too, and any of the other uh, members of our civil uh, community. Uh, today, as a diocese, we open the Eucharistic revival that will be taking place for the next three years throughout the entire United States. And the intention is that we, as a church, lift up to the whole world that Jesus Christ is truly present in his body and his blood, in the bread and the wine. And that is truly a life-changing statement. And so as a people of faith, making a statement of faith, Let's acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, 
so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience it in our lives, the fruits of your redemption. We who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. I'll grab one of these. Thank you, Dean. reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. And being a priest of God most high, he blessed Abram with these words. Blessed be Abram by God most high, the creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high, who delivered your foes into your hand. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God be on your lips and your heart always worthy to proclaim the gospel of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God, and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there were numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they fill 12 wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are joined together in expectation of a miracle. 
all of us, in expectation of a miracle. In many ways, as we have come together as a church, it's a miracle. Two short years ago, 10 people or less. But the Lord has freed us enough to be able to be here in person and also online. And it's his love that we celebrate in a special way. And we started in the word of God. Uh, and as we hear the word of God, we heard in Genesis that, Je that uh, Abram, before he became Abraham, met a priest and met a priest who represented really the special old covenant. And in that moment, it was a moment for him to be blessed by that priest, to be blessed. That's part of what we're asking for in this Eucharist, to be blessed, each of us. That's the beginning of the miracle, if you will. And the priest brought out bread and wine, which was to be a foreshadowing of what we're doing here, of bread and wine, and letting this moment be our blessing moment, especially. And then we hear in uh, St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, which is really very special for the church, that the church celebrated this very moment, the early church. In fact, they celebrated it enough to where St. Paul wanted to put it into his letter to us, Corinthians chapter 11. And they took and blessed and broke and gave the body and blood of Jesus Christ. This is the early church. This is amazing. Just a few years after Jesus had died and risen from the dead. And then we hear in Luke's Gospel, St. Luke speaking to us about the miracle of the, the fish and the loaves and how Jesus asking his disciples to feed the crowd and they say to him, huh? <laughs> and Jesus says to them, then how many loaves and fishes do you have? What do you have to eat? What do you have to eat? And he's going to make out of that a meal for everyone there. Thus, another miracle moment. That's really the anticipation for each of us as we enter into this Eucharist and this moment. Uh, and it really is, I think, for us, a miracle of life-changing proportions that we need to pay attention to, really do. Because the Word of God has said to us, He's coming, He's promised to come, and He's going to be here for each of us to feed us and to give us His life and His Himself in a special way. We sang in the Gospel acclamation that that uh, Jesus said, my flesh is real food to us. And he said, he who eats this flesh, this body, will live forever. For me, I don't know about you, but it's a, wow, I'm ready. Hit me with it, Lord. Wow. It's one of those moments that's truly meant to be life-changing for each of us. And in a very special way, that's the gift he gives us when we enter the word to say to us, he loves us that much to die on the cross for us, for our sins, yes, but especially to rise from the dead and to give us his body and his blood that died on the cross, walk with us first in, on earth, then died on the cross for us, and then rose from the dead. We get to taste the resurrection. 
every time we receive Holy Communion. That is really the miracle in a very special way. And imagine, okay, at this moment, we praying around this altar, which is symbolic of Jesus himself and the empty tomb, that we are praying together with him like the 5,000, and he's saying to us, okay, what do you got to feed him with? What do you got to feed all of the diocese of Biloxi with? Thank God <laughs> he gave us himself. Thank God he gave us his body and his blood. And it makes such a huge difference to take that step in faith, to really believe that it's Jesus that is present in his body and his blood, in the bread and the wine, that it changes into him. Because if it simply remains a memorial only, because it is a memorial, but if it's a memorial only, why do it? Why do it? Where's the miracle in that? It's a memory. It's like opening your, your family album and saying, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's that. Don't you remember when Uncle John did that? Or don't you remember when Aunt Marie was that doing that? It's that kind of moment, yes, but it's so much more. It's him coming to us and saying, I love you this much that I want to give you myself my body and my blood, that you may have life and have life eternal with me. That's the gift of the Eucharist. That's the proclamation that we're making now during this Eucharistic revival for the next three years especially to lift up the faith of our church first, but then to proclaim to the whole world it's time to convert it's time to believe. It's time to let Jesus touch your life. It's time to let Jesus change your life. It's time to let Jesus love you into being so that you may have hope. So that you may have my love. So that you may share in life eternal. That's the promise. That's the gift that he gives to us. That's the miracle. So as you approach the altar, and the minister says, the body of Christ, look out. He's coming. And your amen means, hit me with it, Lord. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I want you in my life. This personally, that you become part of my body and my blood forever. Amen. 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 Let's stand and pray. <coughs> I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, going to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, the giver of life, Lord Jesus and the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead.
and the life of the world to come. Amen. Called to share in the body and blood of Christ that special miracle of love, let's present to our loving God all of our prayers, all of our petitions, asking God to hear and answer each of them. For the church throughout the world, may the Lord strengthen faithful communities united in love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in embracing sound and moral principles and solving the issues before them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or in need, may the love of Christ comfort them and give them hope in the promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this Eucharistic assembly, may the Lord help us grow in faith and love, bearing fruit in the manner of our lives in the abundance of our service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that seeing the face of God, they may live in everlasting joy with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundant love, as we bring our needs before you, we ask that you hear and answer each of them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Please join with us, number 310. May it become the body of Christ. Thank you. God bless you. Got it. I receive this wine. May it become the blood of Christ. Thank you. God bless you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for you your goodness and ever see the bread of the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, in the offerings we here present, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper, with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfection and praise, nourishing your faithful by his sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race bounded by one world, may be enlightened 
by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the yet heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, over, therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. <laughs> Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, those holy and unblemished sacrificed, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard to unite, govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, be your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants of the Catholic Diocese of Biloxi and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for your servants, whom you have been praised to be part of our faith. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and sacred, holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and his glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, all of our parishioners who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, to those sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, graciously grant some shared fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius Alexander, Marcellinus Peter, Felicity Perpetua, Agatha Lucy, Agnes Cecilia, Anastasia, American Saints, our patron Saints, and all your Saints, as leaders we beseech you into the company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Give us our truth. 
trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you, deacon. Peace to you, peace to you, peace to you, Deacon, peace to you, peace to you, peace to you, peace, peace to you. Christ, bring eternal life to receive it. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of Christ, the body of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Christ. The body of Christ. The 
the body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. God's love be with you. The body of Christ. 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 Christ our God the body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Big body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in the share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood who live and reign forever and ever Amen. we'll have a formal procession of the blessed sacrament uh, grateful to the knights and ladies of the holy sepulcher the knights of peter claver uh, the knights of columbus and also the ladies auxiliary and then uh, Jimmy Rafferty is here also. Jimmy, I shouldn't have missed you with that red tie on, but it's good to have you here. Uh, and so we will uh, process out of the cathedral, all the way around the cathedral, and then come back into the cathedral, and then we'll do a consecration prayer for Biloxi, the diocese, and the whole area and all our people to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and to the Immaculate Heart of Mary.
Our brothers and sisters, join me now in humble prayer as together with you I consecrate our beloved diocese and our very lives to the sacred heart of Jesus. Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, get down upon us, humbly we pray, kneeling before you. We are yours, and yours we ask to be, more truly united with you. We, the people of the Diocese of Biloxi, willingly consecrate ourselves, our homes, our children, and our lives to your Eucharistic heart, the fountain of life-giving water, the presence of God in our midst, and ever-present help in distress, our rock, our refuge, and our hope. You are shepherd of our soul, giver of the Holy Spirit, ruler of the universe, one who inhabits and blesses all those who are committed into this care. Today, each one of us freely offers to your sacred heart. We take you to your sacred heart, to the soul of Christ. The pledge of our salvation, the remedy of our frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of our lives, and of our secure refuge at the hour of our death. O most precious Lord, be our justification before God, your Father, and shield us from any wrath we have, so justly merited. We fear, O Lord, from our own weakness and knowledge, with placing our entire confidence in you, O, o heart of love, we hope begin to please you or resist you. Imprint your pure love so deeply in our hearts that we may never forget you or separate from you. O Jesus incarnate, divine mercy of the name of the communities of the Mississippi Gulf Coast and the Chinese Woods, these, your disciples, our lives, actions, trials, and sufferings that are entirely only be employed in loving and honor and glorifying you. This is our irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all and consecrate to your most sacred heart all the faithful of the Diocese of Biloxi. May its laity, religious, clergy be protected by your most august presence, continually avail themselves in the cloak of your divine love. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.
have given them bread from heaven. Having risen Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. The community may stand. This is a very special thank you to everyone who prepared this celebration and especially the Eucharistic Revival Community or Committee. Appreciate them very much. Also, uh, uh, won't be able to name everybody, uh, but uh, the guys over here that are praying hard because in one week from today, they will be ordained permanent deacons. So keep those guys in prayer and let's give them a hand of support. Appreciate you very much. Uh, and then the choir, you've been wonderful, so I appreciate you uh, very much. And uh, thank you to our communication team and to our uh, team that's uh, been a part of the procession. Uh, appreciate all of you. And to each of you that's participated in the procession and in this, uh, this Eucharistic revival, Eucharist, celebrated together. Let us walk the next three years in his love walk the next three years in his hope let us walk the next three years in his love and especially his love given to us in his body and his blood
Well, let's do a big amen. Amen. That works for me. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. The words are at the back of your breaking bread, the very bottom. Holy God, we praise thy name.